When it comes to New Haven pizza, Sally's is a culinary landmark. It sure is, but a legal decision is now clearing the way for the family to sell the place. News 8's Jackie Slater live in New Haven with more on what that means for one of the world's most famous pizzerias. Jackie. Darren, it's been a New Haven tradition since 1938, and it's been known for a while now that Sally's was trying to sell, but they did hit a legal snag. That's been lifted, so the big question now is, what does that mean for changes to the restaurant? Well, those closest to the deal say that it's going to be business as usual. They're often called the holy trinity of New Haven pizza, Sally's, Peppy's, and Modern. Favorite pie from each place? Sally's, the plain. Peppies, the white clam and garlic, and modern, it's either to cheese or to cheese and eggplant. Gorman Bouchard is currently producing a documentary called Pizza, a Love Story. It's the tale of the three competing pizza landmarks in the Elm City. Unless you've eaten at one of these three places, you, you've never had pizza. And I mean, I believe that to the core of my being. This week, word that one of them has been given the green light to sell. Attorney Hugh Keith represents the owners of Sally's. Three sibs, uh, Richard, Robert, and Ruth, uh, they have uh, decided to sell uh, Sally's a few years ago. They're getting on in years and they want to enjoy the fruits of their hard work. After being locked in a legal battle for three years with one of the parties that first presented an offer, an appellate court threw out the case against them, paving the way for another buyer to seal the deal. Keefe says there is a sale already in the works. But will the new owner make big changes to Sally's? Anyone who would take Sally's and change the recipe would be an idiot. And I don't think you're spending that many millions of dollars to, you know, to do, to do that. It, I, don't, I really don't think there's going to be a change. It'll be the same. All right. It'll um, be the same. Same wonderful, tasty onion and bacon. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> So it sounds like pizza lovers can relax, knowing new owners will try to keep the Worcester Street tradition alive. The whole thing about New Haven Pizza is you come, you wait in line, you get in, you wait more, you have the greatest pie of your life, and it's sort of an experience. So good news if you're a diehard Sally's Pizza fan. Their legacy will live on. Now, Keith said at this time they're not disclosing any other information about the prospective sale. Reporting live on Worcester Street, Jackie Slater, News 8.